everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we have a nursery tour today. I'm very excited about this video. I know it's long waited for a few of you guys that have been really excited to see it. Uh, this has been one of my favorite projects. It's something that I was super excited about once I found out I was pregnant. We moved into a new apartment probably a month or so after I found out I was pregnant. So this room has always kind of been empty or just like a place we would throw things until we got organized and until the nursery furniture started to come in. So it's been really fun to kind of see this room transform. I'm currently 38 weeks and a few days, so I'm just anxiously awaiting <laughs> his arrival. Uh, I was debating on waiting until he got here to film this, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna distract myself. I really want him to be here already, so I might as well film a nursery tour and get that up for you guys. Um, but you will see that the, the nursery itself is very gender neutral. I used a lot of neutral colors and just neutral prints that I think would work well for both a little boy and a little girl. Uh, if you're new here, we are having a boy, so I'm very excited about that. I think he's gonna love this room until he gets old enough and tells us what he likes and what he wants in his room. So this will do for now. This is very, it's very much Patrick and I's vibe. So I hope you gather some inspo from it. And yeah, I'm gonna be done talking and I'm gonna take you around. So right when you walk into his room, the first thing you pretty much see are these bookshelves. There's this little chunk of wall right here that I knew I wanted to put some bookshelves on. Uh, if you've been following along with my vlogs, you know that this already exists. This is one of the first things I did in here. I just knew, I was like, this is a bookshelf area, something that would fit and also display his books really nicely. I think that books are obviously, you know, educational and important, but I also think that they add a lot of fun color and just make it feel like a kid's room. So I went with these like acrylic wall shelves. I just thought that they were more subtle. I didn't want to do wood because we have a lot of wood and wicker in the actual room. So I didn't want to go over the top with that. So I thought this was a, just like a clean, simple way to, hold his books, display his books. So right under the bookshelves is his hamper. So I wanted to put this here. It just fit really well. Uh, I got this off of Amazon as well. Hamper, got some stuff in here I need to wash for him, but it's really close to the dresser, which you will see. And also it's right by the door, which right next to the door is our washer and dryer, which we're gonna be doing a lot of laundry with him. So this is a, just a perfect spot for it. I love it. I'm gonna walk into the main part of the room and give you guys a little bit of an overview. This is what it looks like. It's very, very spacious. Uh, we feel very lucky to have this space for him. You guys know we live in New York City, Brooklyn to be specific. So having a two bedroom, let alone a nice big space like this with a beautiful window uh, is such a blessing. The crib is one of my favorite pieces in the nursery. It's one of the first things that we purchased. I absolutely love it. Uh, I knew I wanted a wooden crib. It was just something that I knew I wanted just because I, you guys, I've mentioned this many times and you probably know we are renters. So it's, everything's painted white. So I knew I didn't want to go for a white crib because I just didn't want it to feel like one big white box in here. So I wanted to bring in some natural elements. So when looking for a wooden crib, this is one of the first ones I found. It's from Creighton Kids. I believe it's from the Leanne Ford collection. I just think it's so beautiful. I loved the arches. I just thought that that was such a unique touch because a lot of cribs are just like a straight rectangle. Uh, so I really, really liked the arches. Plus this crib can be converted a lot of different ways. So it has different height settings for the mattress, three different ones to be specific. And uh, it can be converted into a toddler bed, which is great. So we will have this for a while, or if we don't want to use it for a toddler bed, we'll use it for our next baby. We also added a little mobile. This is actually something that Patrick picked out. He picked out one with little sea creatures on it. Super, super cute. Uh, so we hung this. I explained this in one of my vlogs when we were putting the crib together, but I actually got this like mobile arm from Etsy because our ceilings are very high in here. So I didn't want to hang it from the ceiling and drill into the ceiling and deal with all of that. So I thought that this was a great way to do this. You can adjust the height, make sure he can't grab it. Above the crib, we have the Manit, which is our baby monitoring system. Uh, I love it so far. We've tested it out. We've got it all set up. Obviously, he's not here yet, but once he gets here, I will maybe give you guys a more detailed uh, description on why I like it in a vlog or something like that, but that is the monitor that we chose. 
Uh, I love that it's wall mounted. I just think it's very sleek and it, you know, fits on the wall really nicely. It's not bulky. I don't have to try to like hook it onto a crib. So that's very convenient. And then I just wanted to keep it simple with some picture frames. So I just got these prints off of Etsy. It's kind of like more of a painted style seascape, clouds, very, very neutral colors, like very soft blues. I just thought that they were really pretty and calming. So I wanted to keep it simple up there. Right next to the crib right here is a little toy chest um, or like a toy cubby which I think is super cute. We have a few of his toys in there and stuffed animals. I wanna keep a lot of the stuff in his closet and kind of introduce toys to him here very slowly. I don't wanna just give him a bunch of toys and kind of overstimulate him right away. So I kinda of wanna slowly introduce things in this way. We are now on the other side of his room. Uh, I am currently in the glider, which is so comfy. I absolutely love this. It is from Pottery Barn Kids. It's in this like white boucle fabric. Super cute, very comfy. I went with a glider because they take up a little less space than a rocking chair. Uh, and we needed something a little bit on the smaller side. Also a lot, of very good access to any needs. If I'm here breastfeeding, rocking, reading, whatever. Um, I also have my little boppy here, my breastfeeding pillow. So everything is just easy to access, which I love. We also have a rug, which I will show you guys in the cutaway. That is from Creighton Kids. I love the texture. I think bringing in textured things like that to a room that's just painted white um, can add a lot of dimension. So I definitely wanted to do that. We have curtains in some tie backs, which are from Amazon. Really great. Highly recommend the tie backs. It just cleans everything up. You don't have to have these big curtain panel panels, like just hanging there, um, especially with blackout curtains because they can be very heavy and very bulky. They don't hang like, you know, a nice sheer or a linen. So I love those. Uh, the curtains are from Lulu and Georgia. They did a collab with Riley and Crew, which is a really cute kids brand. Uh, so I absolutely love their prints. They're very subtle. They still feel like they could be in a kid's room, but they also don't just scream baby. Um, before I get into all of this, I'm gonna talk about the little print artwork we have. I definitely wanted to add some. I think artwork adds just personality. And like I said in the beginning, until he can tell us what he's into, we're kind of decorating for him. I, I really wanted it to be pretty subtle in here. So I went with a sailboat, which I just think is really, really cute, uh, which we got from Etsy, both prints. So this the sailboat one, and then also this really cute illustration, which this seller does on dictionary pages, which I think is so cute. So she illustrated a surfer with a little surfer. And if you know Patrick, it's just very him. So I thought that that was so cute. Next to the frames, as you can see, we put a circle mirror here, which is from Target, the classic mirror that I feel like everybody has. Target, love it. It adds <laughs> some depth to the room. Also, I just think it's really cute once he's able to kind of sit up and be able to look at himself. I love that. So this little station off to my left is one of my favorite finds. It is from Etsy. It's just a little diaper organizing station. So I have creams, lotions, diapers, nail clippers, pacifiers, uh, his little hairbrush and hair comb. I found out in one of my ultrasounds that he does have hair, so he's gonna come out with hair. So I got him a little brush, a little comb, uh, anything I could possibly need, a little nose sucker, just things like that. This will probably change as soon as he gets here and I figure out what um, he needs and uses the most. Next to that, I have the Kikaroo peanut changer right here. Any poops that get on here are gonna be really easy to wipe up and clean. So I love that I ended up putting this in here. If you watched my vlogs, you know I originally had like a changing basket, which I still am using. We just have it in our bedroom. So we do have this new. We are going to have him in our room for the beginning. Uh, and I wanted a little changing station on our dresser just so I didn't have to kind of guess in the dark and bring him on our bed. So I have a little changing basket that I've shown you guys plenty of times before. I just moved that into our room. I went with this green colored dresser. I just thought it added a little bit of color. 
It tied in the theme of the room a little bit. I really wanted to get the white Ikea one that I see in every nursery tour, uh, but our nursery wasn't big enough for that one. So I went with this and I think it's a perfect size. It's really, really cute. I love the brass hardware. It ties in with the rest of our stuff really well. I ordered these little divider cubes off of Amazon. Super, super handy, convenient. I was able to separate newborns from zero to three to little pants. The other drawers have like bibs separated, socks, and then um, the next drawers are as sizes go up. And then once he gets bigger, they all just come to the top and <laughs> it's just super organized and easy to grab while I'm changing him up here. And then last but definitely not least, we have a diaper pail right here, right next to the changing table. And then we've got the laundry right here. So very convenient, all right by the door. Stuff that we're gonna be taking out every day like laundry, dirty diapers. I wanted to keep closest to the door. So that's his nursery. I really hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I think the only thing I didn't show you was the closet, uh, but right now that's filled with a bunch of things that he's using like a stroller, carriers, different gifts that he's gotten from baby showers. Uh, and just we have to get more organized in there. Plus a lot of his current stuff that we are using is foldable, rollable in the dresser. So that organization is gonna come later. Right now it's a very much baby storage. So that's the only thing I didn't show you, otherwise you've seen our nursery. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe got some decor inspo if you are expecting as well. But thank you again for watching. Hopefully in one of my next videos we will have a new little baby. I'm ready for him to be here as I know a lot of you guys are too. So yeah, that's it. That's it for the video. <laughs> hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.